Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be making an easy, elegant topiary. For the base, we're using these glass light shades that we got at a thrift store. And we're using these battery operated lights that we got at our local dollar store to illuminate the bases. Remember to put your batteries in to make sure the lights actually work. If you haven't yet subscribed, we appreciate your support. Please hit like and subscribe. We would recommend using golden or silver balls for that elegant look. Of course you can use any color balls you'd like. What color would you like your tree to be? This is a super easy craft that doesn't require a lot of specialized equipment. Just your basic glue gun, maybe a pair of pliers, and your fingers. You'll have to take the ends off of your balls so you can glue them onto each other. You can do top or bottom. It's nice to do a dry run before you start gluing to figure out what order you'd like your balls in. When you're gluing them, just remember to hold them on there till that glue sets so they don't drop off of there. And while your glue is setting, just give it a quick turn just to make sure everything's all centered. This is a very easy craft to do and the parts are very accessible. If you don't have lampshades, you could use a candlestick holder. Uh, you can use some balls that you have at your house already or you can get some at your local Dollar Tree. You can use designs on the balls or colors on the balls to match your decor at home. I encourage you to give this craft a try. It's fun for me to think that you're crafting along with me. If you do give this a try, just let me know in the comments below. I find that when you put the glue on the balls, it's nice to let it cool down a bit, just so you don't have to hold it on there as long and it sets a little faster. And for the tip of this tree, we used an ornament and a little pearl on top. Once I was satisfied that the glue had set, I gave it a little more glam with some silver beads. It also helps to cover up the not so good looking joints. To apply the glue for the beads, you can either run a bead of glue around and turn the ornament around, or you can put it right on to the beads and put it on that way. Now I'll be making another one with a little bit of a different look. We used the glass lamp shades for the bases so we can put the lights in. It gives a nice glow at night and even during the day. Once again, you'll have to take some of the ends off of your ornaments. As you can see here, you can use different shapes and different sizes to make it a nice tree. I was having a little bit of trouble stabilizing the bottom part of the ornament, so I wrapped the pearls on early so it could give it better support. To top off this tree, we decided to use a star. So we used one of the ends that we took off, cut a little hole in the top, and inserted the star so it'll be more stable on top of the ball. It also gives a better finished look. And we just put some glue inside there and glue it on. Then once again I added my beads around the joints. It also adds to the stability of the tree. So which one do you like? Put your comments below. Thanks for crafting with me today. Hope to see you next time.